What's going on guys? Adam Ivey, sellmusic.com, here to help you go further, faster in your music career by sharing proven marketing techniques and strategies to help transform that passion for making music and turn it into a legitimate business that's going to provide you with freedom and fulfillment, two of the most important things in life in general. So a lot of you guys know that over the past few months, I've been building this dream home studio of mine, and it's taken a whole lot longer than expected, a whole lot more work, but it's finally coming together. Now, over the next few weeks, I'm going to be installing all of the acoustic panels and the clouds system and all types of goodies. But since moving into this house, I've realized that I have an issue that I wasn't kind of expecting when we moved in, and that's road noise. Now, with that being said, the house that my fiance and I purchased last year is in a very quiet neighborhood, but about 200 yards away is a turnpike, which if you guys don't know what that is, it's a highly trafficked six to eight lane toll road that goes from kind of like Northern Florida all the way down to Miami. So naturally, it's gonna be a lot of big trucks, which big trucks make a lot of noise. And I heard that through the studio windows didn't know until you move in. Anyway, uh, in the past, I've always built out a box, right? A wooden structure to mount in the window cavity. And then from there, I pack it with foam. Uh, and then I covered it with oversized acoustic panels, which worked pretty well, but that would obviously eliminate any natural lighting. And over the years, I've realized that working in a room with no natural lighting just feels claustrophobic to me. And I'm not really that type, but it just, it just bothered me. I know that I'm usually in an energetic mood when I do these videos, uh, but when the cameras weren't on in those previous spaces, um, I started feeling kind of depressed uh, in, in those rooms. I felt isolated and completely demotivated. Now I know that that sounds dramatic and I'm kind of stumbling over my words, but that's how I felt. Now I tell you that so you can have a better understanding as to why I'm not gonna cover the windows here. It's not something that I'm willing to do, don't get me wrong. I'm gonna add some nice curtains, some blackout curtains so I can adjust the light when I'm shooting videos like this, but not having natural light isn't an option for me anymore. So naturally I found myself in a bit of a pickle. How do I eliminate the outside noise from getting in this space without blocking off the window like I've been doing in the past? And that's when I discovered a company called Indo who specializes in this sort of thing. Indo offers custom made window inserts that are easy to install and have a wide array of practical benefits. But what really caught my eye is their acoustic grade window inserts. So I reached out to Indo and explained the issues that I'd been dealing with when it came to the road noise and the lawn mowers and my neighbor over here who decides that his garage is a CrossFit gym once in a while. And they told me what they could do as far as their inserts, reducing that noise by up to 70%. Not only that, after all, I am a music producer. So these inserts would obviously reduce the amount of noise and sound that somebody from the outside would be hearing when this room is turned up, especially when it comes to those sessions that last until the wee hours of the morning, because I'm not trying to be that guy. Now, with that being said, after we spoke on the phone, Indo sent me a laser measurement kit, which was super easy to use. And the instructions were crystal clear. After submitting my measurements, what Indo does is they confirm that everything looks right. And then after about maybe two or three weeks, I received my custom Indo acoustic grade window inserts. And why don't I just show you? Oh, hey man. What's up? What are you doing? You told me to get footage of this. Yeah, but this needs to be like cinematic. Like I want it to be like, when I oh, oh, say no more. Uh, okay. Go back. Yeah, you you got it. Yeah, yeah. Go back. You sure? Um, just go, go back. You got this. <laughs> this is heavy. Man. I know. <laughs> So as you could see on my right side, I already installed the Indo insert into the window cavity. Super easy to do, like five minutes. But what I wanted to do is show you how quick and easy it is over on this window, as well as doing like a live real world test of the noise coming in through the window. So what I'm gonna do is I have my phone right here. I'm gonna open it up into the voice memo and I'm gonna start recording. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it right on this lip. And then my boy Danny, follow me cameraman, will put this right here and then we're gonna have Danny turn on a compressor. Now from that, the compressor is coming in through the window. Is it super loud? No, but when you're making music, when you're recording podcasts and this and that, you wanna really suppress that noise. So what I'm gonna do now is Ricky's gonna back up a little bit and I'm gonna install this panel right here into the window cavity. Let me tell Danny to turn it off. All right, 
Now I'm gonna install this and we're gonna do the same test. So let me stop my phone and get to work. Now this is super easy. All you do is you first start with the bottom, you work it in, you kind of push the surround in and then you kind of uh, wiggle it into the window cavity without pushing or you don't want this stuff to bend. You wanna push it, slide it in so it'll seat correctly. So let's do that. I'm gonna bring this little step stool over here because I'm not incredibly tall, right? I'm gonna put it up in here, start with the corners. What you wanna do is you wanna make sure that these aren't bent, these aren't folded. Work it in a little bit, and before you do, I'm gonna grab this chain, and I'm gonna tuck it up right in here. Not sure if you could see that, Ricky, but what that is, it's a safety pull in case a child pulls the D-ring, pulls whatever, and there's two. There's one on each side. Now this only is included with these inserts that are as large as this. If it's a teeny tiny window, obviously you wouldn't need something like that because the fear of falling down isn't as, isn't as intense. So just tucking this in, I'm glad I have those safety chains on now. Just thought about that. But what I'm doing is it's just a very easy, you just have to be patient with it, easy way to work it around. What I'm doing is I'm pushing it in and then pushing it in just a little bit at a time. We're gonna do this all the way around the window and then we're gonna move it in a little bit from the outside of this opening because I want it to be flush with the wall. I don't want it to protrude at all as far as this, this goes. It's a bright sunny day out if you can't tell. Got a couple dogs in the room too, if you hear them panting. Shout out to Coda and Daisy. All right, so on the step stool, just working your way around. Like I said, super easy. When you get to a corner, kind of just bend it a little bit. You want it to seat. You don't want to have any air kind of leakage or whatever you would call it. Working my way in, work my way around the top here. This other corner, get that in place. Just finish the last little bit here. And ultimately guys, see I want it to be level here. So I'm gonna run my hand and feel, okay, this is a little bit out. This is a little bit out here. The corner is seated pretty well. Now the corners of this window frame are a bit rounded. So I just push and tuck this in until I can't see any air. Again, trying to get this flush mounted. That's pretty good, guys. I can go through and do some micro adjustments and pull this dog hair off here and there. But overall, this is all it took. And that was like maybe what, five minutes or less? Super easy. Now I'm gonna clean the outside of this window, but you guys don't have to stick around for that. But before you go, let's grab the phone one more time and do that test. I'm gonna hold this thing right up against the insert. Okay, let me just save this one. Do another one. So. Recording live. This is right up against the window, guys. Turn it off and turn it on again. Now turn it on. Just want you guys to know that he actually is turning this on because I can't hear it at all. Now, I'm gonna stop the recording. But if we were in a residential area like we are, and we have a studio that we're doing business out of, that we're doing podcasting, that we're doing, obviously I'm in doing instrumentals and making beats and doing mixes. I don't always wanna be able to, or have to do those in my headphones, but I really can't afford to have lawnmower noise, people chiseling outside, not to mention the fact that I only live about 200 yards away from the turnpike, which if you don't live in the state of Florida, it's a very busy toll road, it's a highway. Ultimately, what these panels are gonna do, what these inserts are going to do, is they're going to reduce the noise by 
up to 70% according to Indo. That's gonna be a game changer for me, guys. So uh, let's kick it back to the studio and I'll uh, finish up this video. Hey guys, welcome back. Now, obviously, I would hope it's obvious at least, I'm wearing different clothing than in those clips that you just watched. And that's because I wanted to test out these inserts for a few days before giving you guys my feedback and my opinions. Long story short, these are the real deal and they're incredible. In fact, my long guys were here just a few days ago uh, and usually what happens is kind of side note, I work out of my office and when my long guy comes on Wednesdays, I hear him a few houses down and then closer and eventually he gets here. But the reason I tell you that is because when I hear that, usually I go down to make sure that my car is not parked too wide on the driveway or it's not too close to the road in case they can't edge or get the lawnmower there, whatever. And it literally made me smile and kind of panic because my Jeep was too far over. But I looked out and my lawn guys are literally mowing my lawn and it sounds like they're a few houses down to the point where I could have shot a video just like this and you wouldn't even be able to hear them. Now, does it totally silence them? No, but like I said, I could shoot a video with them outside. That's how impressive it is. And earlier I had mentioned the turnpike noise. I don't even like, I go right up there and listen and like, I don't even notice it anymore. So uh, I'm incredibly happy with that to say the least. Now, as you witnessed in that other footage, they're super easy to install. In fact, I did it live for a reason because it couldn't be any more straightforward. One thing I wasn't expecting is that my studio seems much more like normalized when it comes to the room temp than it has in the past, especially because the sun goes down on this side of the studio. So it always beads in and gets really freaking hot. And I haven't experienced that as much uh, ever since I installed these inserts, which is a pleasant surprise. When I turn the AC on, it seems more normal in here. It doesn't seem to warm up as fast. And when I turn the heat on, it doesn't get cool as fast. Now, I say that because in the past two weeks, I've had to turn the AC on several times. And then I've also had to turn the heat on. Welcome to Florida in February. All right, so let's talk about price for a second. Now, Indo does offer several different window inserts, which all obviously have some sound deadening qualities to them. But the inserts I went with are the acoustic grade inserts, which are thicker and offer a higher percentage of sound deadening, dampening, deadening. I don't know. Now these particular inserts were $36 per square foot. So for my two windows, which are on the larger side, as you just saw, uh, they came out to right around $500 per insert. Now that price does include a limited lifetime warranty as long as you stay in the space. Um, but I have no idea. I'm looking at them. That's why I keep looking off to my side. I don't know how they would fail, but it does come with a limited lifetime warranty as long as you stay in the same space. Now the million dollar question, are these inserts for everyone? Well, of course not. These are tailored for those who are gonna be in the same space for a good amount of time, and for those who need to reduce that outside noise while maintaining that access to their windows as far as the fire escape, and obviously the natural light, which is super important to a lot of us. These are great for homeowners building out a home studio, kind of like I did, and those who live in busy areas with a lot of exterior noise, such as a downtown area. Now, I'd also recommend these inserts for anyone who wants to keep their music in the space in order to avoid those neighbors calling the cops on you at 2 a.m. Now, with that being said, if you're interested in checking out more, just go to the description box. I'll have a link there where you can get more information or a free quote for your space and check out what they have to offer. I don't have any affiliate link or anything like that. However, I do want to say thank you to Indo for partnering with me for this project in the Dream Home Studio Built. So thank you. You guys know that I only promote products and services that I truly believe in. So these Indo window inserts are definitely fitting in that category. And for complete transparency, Indo did not throw any money at me for a positive review or to do this video. Just want you guys to know that. I just really think what they're doing is awesome. Now, Speaking of awesome, I'd love for you guys to click this video next to join me for the Dream Home Studio Build Project, and then click that little button to join the channel family here and the over 170,000 of us that hang out every single week. Then smash that little bell icon so you can be notified first every time I upload a video just like this. Come connect with me over on Instagram at Adam Ivy, and until next time, I appreciate you watching.